In the annals of the American Wild West, few events have resonated so fiercely as the legendary gunfight at Blazer's Mill. One person pitted against eight skilled shooters in this would-be legend match that left an indelible mark on the history of the region. At the center of the skirmish is Buckshot Roberts, an American buffalo hunter, border guard, and cowboy. However, what makes this particular gunfight truly unforgettable is the presence of such infamous characters as Billy the Kid, Charlie Bowder, and Dave Rudabaugh. In this video, we dive into the bloody events that took place at Blazer's Mill, revealing the intertwined fates of those notorious figures on America's unspoiled frontier. Prepare to enter a world where infamous gunfights take place and legends are born. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Little is known about the early life of Andrew L. Roberts, known as Buckshot Roberts. He was born in 1831. Roberts began his career as a Texas Ranger, taking the name Bill Williams, and later entered the American Civil War where he rose to the rank of sergeant before being discharged. Later, during his years of bison hunting, Roberts befriended Buffalo Bill Cody, serving as his associate. It was during this time that Roberts was mortally wounded with a bullet still lodged in his right shoulder. This injury limited the mobility of his right arm, leaving him unable to raise a rifle above his hip. As a result, Roberts developed a unique shooting style to compensate for the limited movement of his right hand. By 1876, he owned a ranch of his own in the vast Ruidoso Valley, located near Lincoln. Buckshot Roberts, known for his introverted nature, is quiet and reserved, rarely delving into discussions about his past. Many people of the time assumed that despite his formidable reputation, he was not known for bad intentions. Roberts is a stubborn loner, showcasing a preference for mule riding rather than horseback riding. Physically, Roberts is characterized as short and stocky. This earned him the name Buckshot Roberts, but did little to hamper his deadly aim. In the mid-1870s, when the Lincoln County War broke out in New Mexico, Buckshot Roberts was running his ranch. While some sources claim that Roberts was a member of the Dolan Murphy faction, known for its tight control over the county's commerce. Until the upstarts, Alexander McSween and John Tunstall began to challenge their monopoly, which eventually led to the Lincoln County War. It is important to note that this connection with James Dolan and his close friendship with Lawrence Murphy led to this association. However, historical records demonstrate that Roberts had a penchant for solitude and his decision was not to participate in the power struggle for Lincoln County. When informed that he needed to choose a side in the conflict, Roberts flatly rejected this view, asserting that he had seen enough conflict in his life and had no intention of fighting for either side. However, on February 18, 1878, when John Hunstall fell victim to the Dolan Murphy faction's bullets, it was implicitly assumed that Roberts was part of the group. As a result, an arrest warrant was quickly issued against him. Faced with this predicament, Roberts decided to sell his farm and planned to move out of the area. Seeking temporary refuge at a friend's residence near Blazer's Mill, he eagerly awaited, finalizing the sale of his property. Meanwhile, Dick Brewer had assembled a team, known as the Regulatory Authority, with the aim of bringing Tunstall's killers to justice. Unaware of the unfolding events, Roberts went straight to Blazer's Mill on April 4, 1878, was intrigued by the image of a wooden plank, hoping it might be related to a payment to his farm. He did not know that the regulators had gathered at the factory, their horses hidden in the back. In just a few minutes, an extraordinary gunfight will take place. It will engrave the legendary Roberts in the annals of the Old West as he fought bravely for his life against eight skilled gunmen. Blazer's Mill, a prominent establishment along the banks of the Rio Tularosa River, includes a sawmill, 
a bustling trading post, and various ancillary facilities, such as a post office and restaurant. On that fateful day, the regulators, including such notable individuals as Dick Brewer, Frank and George Coe, John Middleton, Doc Skurlock, Charles Bowder, Henry Brown, Frank McNabb, and Billy the Kid, gathered at a nearby building, enjoying their meal. Meanwhile, Buckshot Roberts strapped his mule outside the factory inwards to see if his payment had been delivered. Frank Coe, among the regulators that recently took the life of Sheriff William Brady, spotted Roberts entering the premises and rushed to strike up a conversation with him, urging him to surrender. However, Roberts had the unwavering belief that surrender would only lead to his death at the hands of the regulatory authority. He categorically refused. Frustrated, regulator leader Dick Brewer grew impatient with the impasse and dispatched more men by force to arrest Roberts. When Roberts saw the armed men, instinctively prompted him to grab his rifle and fire multiple shots. Charlie Bowder being hit in the waist and knocked backwards. However, fortune was in Bowder's favor when he shot Roberts in the stomach. Undaunted by his severe injuries, Roberts continued to fire his weapon as he retreated toward the threshold of the factory. His tactic proved right, shooting John Middleton in the chest, hitting Skurlock's pistol, hitting George Coe's arm, causing him to painfully discard his gun and graze Billy the Kid. Roberts continued to return fire until his rifle ran out of ammunition. Upon hearing the click of Roberts' empty rifle, Billy the Kid jumped out of cover to finish him off. However, Roberts shot Kid unconscious with the barrel of a heavy rifle. With unwavering determination, Roberts ignored both his wounds and the gunfire of the regulators while arming himself with another rifle prepared to continue his defense. The regulators halted their pursuit cared for the wounded, and begged Roberts to surrender. However, leader Dick Brewer's frustration with his men led him to go around the back of the building, where he began a barrage of guns. In a tragic turn, Roberts retaliated, shooting Brewer in the eye and instantly taking his life. Witnessing the resilience of the lone gunman, the remaining members of the regulator became discouraged and decided to mount their horses and retreat. Resilient and armed, Roberts chose to remain inside the building until a group of caution, local people approached. Realizing the need for medical attention, they sent a doctor to check on Roberts. Despite the doctor's efforts, the wound was so severe that Roberts suffered from prolonged pain and he died yet the next day. In the end, both Roberts and Dick Brewer were buried in the quiet grounds of Little Blazer Cemetery in Mescalero, New Mexico. During the ensuing discussions of the fierce encounter, Billy the Kid was asked about the outcome of the gunfight. In response, he admitted, Yes, sir, he licked our crowd to a finish. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.